So I'm sure you can tell what I'm gonna get up to <laughs> by the title and the thumbnail. I'm actually not that sure myself, so let's see what happens. My mum's already in town, so I'm gonna try and meet up with her for a coffee if I can. But I'm walking the back streets in the way into town because I love noticing all the local graffiti artists and what they get up to and see if I can spot anything new. This one has actually been here for a while, but it's obviously a take on The Simpsons. He's turned them into the Avengers. Right there is his name. I think he's called Tosca11. So that's one of the, my faves. I haven't just come in for the YOLOs. I do have an agenda. Alfie and Zoe bought me a sewing machine for my birthday. <laughs> I'll tell you a little bit of kind of like the story behind why I have a sewing machine later when I get home. But the main focus and the reason why I'm town is because I need some little bits. I have like sewing thread, I have some little things, including a machine, which is like the main thing. And I want to buy some like little other kind of like cutting and sewing things. Basically, I have no idea what I need. But there's also a sewing class, master class shop, which is actually on this corner. I'll hit it on the way back, but I want to inquire about doing some lessons with them because I know that's what they offer. It's like a fashion school. Um, so yeah, I want to go in there, get a leaflet, maybe talk to them about it, and primarily try and put myself into some lessons because I have no idea. Made it to the first stop, CNH Fabrics. Let's go in and see what we can find. Also, booties. Hello, Sean's wearing boots. Thought he was a trainer guy. I picked up a straggler. Straggler? Yeah, you're a straggler. You're gonna help me pick out some accessories because you are you like to sew, don't you? I do, I love to sew. You could probably teach me a few things. What's gonna make? Don't know yet. T-shirts, hoodies, clothes. Oh, one thing I do want to learn how to do is take up my own jeans. Take up your own yeah, jeans? Yeah, because when I buy jeans, I've got short little legs. Velcro. No, I'm not using Velcro. <laughs> what do I need Velcro Grandad for? Granddad used to take up my trousers. What, and use Velcro? No, of course he didn't. He used to sew. What do, what, I don't want like to rip off my trousers. That's what people do, don't they? They put like Velcro in the seam so they can rip them off. You shouldn't have such short legs. That's your fault. You are my mother. It's hot in here, isn't it? I'm exhausted. Need from to sit down. Up the steps. Yeah, I need a hot chair lift. <laughs> no, you don't. Not that old yet. There's a chair there if you want to sit down for a minute. That's cool. That is very cool. And that is what I want to start doing as well. You know how to do it? Mm, I've done it before, but I used, actually did a video on it, didn't I? Once I get my little art studio set up, or I should say our art studio. Yeah. Here in the background saying, yeah, it's mine as well. I'm going to be doing some tie-dye stuff as well. But today is about sewing accessories. What's this? Rotary cutter. Do I need one of them? No. Nope? Okay. I I'm not sure what I need, so you might have to help me out. Tape measure. Mm, I'm not at that point yet. I don't even know if I can sew in a straight line <laughs> on the machine well, itself. Well, that's what the machine's de designed to do. I need some decent scissors. I remember Nan actually had a pair of yeah, these. Yeah, I've got them still. Well, they're quite expensive. They are expensive. Is it because they're special? You want to go to Tunnel Mills? No, we're in CNH Fabrics. Look. Oh, perfect. I'll have a green one. I don't think I need this. No. Although that's quite cool. Truly first to iron on transfer adhesive. Yeah. So I could just get patches or something or make my own and just use this. You could. To iron on iron. patches. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. I'm definitely going to be using that. Could I make a t-shirt out of that? A t-shirt? Yeah. It's like deck chair material. Oh, is it? Definitely not then. Tiger one. A tiger t-shirt. <laughs> what is that? That's enough. Let's go. I need a coffee. My mum unfortunately had to leave. She had enough of being in town. She'd actually been in town for like a couple of hours before she met me, so fair enough, she went home. I skipped coffee, I've gone straight for lunch. I've come to, I think this place is called Tortilla. They sell burritos, so I got a very large veggie burrito, Diet Coke. It's been an hour or so since I've vlogged. I've been roaming around town by myself. I've been doing a bit of shopping because one of my favorite uh, shops in Brighton have a sale on. I was looking at their website last night, but I thought I'd check in with them today in store. So I go in there all the time, they're really, really friendly guys. And I treat myself, because you've got to treat yourself, guys, every once in a while. So this beautiful jumper. I'm not too familiar with the brand, but it's called Country of Origin. 
this beautiful knitted sweatshirt, knitted jumper. I love the fact that it's got green and red sleeve and then the grey trims. Enough chat about sewing, enough chat about shopping. I want to demolish this burrito before I get and go home. Yo, this looks good. See you at home. You're inside the cupboard right now. I'm back from town. I need to do a few things. Uh, one, you remember I said that I was going to go to the little sewing shop? I actually stopped by there and spoke to a lady at length about kind of like my needs, what I want to do and what I want to achieve. They are in conversations at the minute about starting some adult courses. They also offer some one-to-one -one hourly sessions as well. So I'm going to give them a ring tomorrow. I have a name of a person I need to contact. So I'll be ringing them nice and early tomorrow to try and figure it out, see if I can do some lessons because I'm serious about this. I want to do it. I want to hit the ground running with it. There's only one to do that, and that is to just make it happen. So tomorrow, I'm going to make, make sure I keep this and stop throwing it everywhere and give them a quick call and try and see if they can accommodate me. Most of you guys might follow me on Instagram. If you don't, Sean Elliott OC. That isn't a shameless plug. There is a reason why I'm telling you. It's because I've started to get a hell of a lot more creative on my Instagram with IGTVs. So I've started doing speed paintings. The first one I put out... Uh, did really well. You guys loved it and it's nice to kind of have the conversations with you in the chat This has become my creative cupboard under the stairs where I keep my like easel and my paintings And now I keep my sewing machine oh, I should have probably thought about locking this after I got this out. Yeah, I'll just drag the pedal That ladies and gentlemen is called the singer fashion mate very on topic, am I right? Because I'm into my fashion, I want to make my t-shirts. What better to use than a singer fashion mate? It just makes sense. Right, I'm gonna put you guys down for a minute, get set up. So fun! This is my machine, not that I know anything about it or how to use it. I'm just getting my little bits sorted. Next to me I have this, which is like a little accessory kit that Alfie and Zoe got me. So it stands up like this and you carry it around, but it's got the threads, loads of different colours. I've got one here and there's actually one inside there, and that's called a bobbin. But um, yeah, so I'm set up, I'm just kind of unpacking what I bought today the stuff that my mum picked. I'm not actually going to be sewing that today because I don't want to ruin it. I'm sorry, there's lines on the, the camera. I'm not sure why that is. I can't do anything about it. It's got something to do with my ceiling lights. Sorry. I've got some old t-shirts which were no good for anything. They actually got really stained in the washing machine and also one of Poppy's old jumpers which again has holes and stained. So I'm using this kind of like to cut it up and use the fabric as a little test. Clearly, don't know what I'm doing. Come on! That was meant to be some form of detail. Didn't really work out for me. Where's my other rough cuts? I had some other rough cuts somewhere. But that's as far as I've got. Because on this machine, there's um, all these different settings that does like straight line setting and then this zigzag setting, which I think I used there. And then there's all these kinds of different ones, and I'm sure they have a purpose, but uh, I don't know what they are yet. I'm just fi trying to like figure it all out. So I will check back in when I've when I've when I've done something that's worth showing you.
done something wrong. My thread has managed to de-thread itself out of the need. Oh, there it is, look. Out of the needle somehow, so I need to get that back in before I can do anything else. Shall I show you what I've done so far? <laughs> My absolute freaking masterpiece. Do you want to see? <laughs> so if I was able to finish off the other end, it's like a little pouch. I don't know what I would put in the little pouch, but I've done it. <laughs> I've cut off a bit of the t-shirt out of a square, sewed it on, and then put another bit of the black <laughs> over it. This is the most basic thing you'll probably ever see anyone sew, but I'm just getting started. I'm just enjoying you physically just using it and like putting the thread around it in all the places it needs to be and just, I'm still trying to figure out the pedal. Like this pedal, pedal goes very quickly. I'm sure I could slow it down somehow. But what I'm trying to communicate here is I think this is rubbish. I know it's rubbish. It doesn't need to be amazing. I'm just gonna really enjoy this process, I think. Something that I'm finding more regularly with like putting out this kind of creative style of content and especially putting out like the renovation style videos is a lot of you watch these videos and you comment, those of you that do take the time out of your day to comment, which is amazing and I really appreciate you doing that. It's that you're commenting things like, Sean, you've given me the spark to do my bathroom. It's been waiting and it's been in the back of my mind for ages. And you know what? This year I'm gonna do it. Give me a second, because I want to read some of them out. Let's do that. So Naja Zare, hopefully I oh do you know what? I'll screenshot them and put them on screen. I love your enthusiasm, it trains me to be more optimistic. So this is the kind of comment which I, I'm trying to communicate. It's like I love that I have this kind of impact on some of you guys. It, it motivates me to just give me the drive to make the videos um, and create the content. I love creating, but foremost creating it for you. Um, to hopefully be slightly entertaining, but give you a boost of motivation. Even if it's just like passing five minutes of your day, you're just tuning in, you're watching a time lapse and it just lets you chill out and it puts a smile on your face. That what, that's what makes it worth it for me. A lot of you are really, really enjoying the renovation videos, which I love because it brings my kind of like creative side as well as my practical building skills um, into one video. So I love creating that style of content. So it means a lot that a lot of you are posting, just saying love the vlogs, love the projects. Louise White, you're amazing. Hi, Sean. Well done for sorting out your creative space. It's not quite there yet, Louise, but I'm looking forward to getting it completed. I'm sure it will be amazing. You're very inspirational and motivated. So the motivation, like I've said three times already, it comes from you guys. Like I am awful at self-motivation, um, but reading comments like this keep me going. Um, so, so yeah, you are my source of motivation. I think that's a fair thing to say. Looking forward to the next vlog. Sending love and hugs. I just hearted your comment. You are incredible. I think you pronounce it Justina, but Justina Bayweg. I also see you, if you're watching this vlog, hi. I also see you very active on Instagram, so thank you so much for commenting. Um, she's written, you are motivating, you are really motivating, yeah. you are really motivating since you and Pop started renovating your home. I started redecorating my room. You've encouraged me to start exercising more from your couch to 5K, which I, I'm, I'm actually struggling with it, but I'm, I'm still doing it, so that's good. Um, I started doing this Couch 5K, it's the name of the app. Basically, it's an excuse to get out, get running, get exercising, but just be more active. And it's kind of like set up a week by week steps. Um, you are, by no means are you just like running straight away for 5k, you're just like running at 60 second intervals like 10 times the first one and then you move on to 90 seconds so you're basically building up your progress. Um, so amazing, I'm glad that I have inspired you Justina if you're watching to uh, do the 5k, to couch to 5k. Make sure to keep me updated with it, I'd love to know how you're getting on, I'm currently on week 2. Ooh, Poppy's ringing me now. Um, and really, really inspired my artwork, which is helping me with my art GCSEs. So thank you so much for being an incredible person and inspiration. By no means do I count myself as an incredible person, uh, but I'm glad I can inspire you and others 
uh, to be a little bit more voted, motivated out of the norm and do little things like decorate your room, that's really cool. Um, and especially inspire you to be more active, that's quite important. Um, so it's good, because I'm really enjoying it and I didn't think I would enjoy running. <laughs> so that's saying something. I just wanted to put that bit in, just a little shout out to some of you guys that I, I noticed you, you comment a lot and I do really appreciate it. Thank you as always. As I'm coming up to like, I think it's my fourth year on YouTube, I'm, I'm becoming very reflective, trying to figure out the future, I think, and kind of where I want to take my content and my channel and everywhere else that I put content out on. Um, but yeah, huge shout out to all of you who tune into the vlogs regularly. You're amazing. I love you. And yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you real soon in another video. Probably going to be a renovation one. It's a hot topic at the minute and I'm absolutely loving making the content. So um, watch out for that. I'll see you real soon. Peace.